Hello everyone, in today's short little video I'm going to be reviewing the Super Mario Bros. movie, Bowser's Island Castle playset from Jax. This is part of the Wave 2 figures and Wave 2 playsets, really cool. So yeah, I can't wait to show this off. To get things started, let's take a look at the packaging. We got our little Bowser in there, and we got little packaging. On the side here, we can see some details of the playset. On the back here is where we get all the good stuff. So we can see all of the accessories or what it includes, what it can do, functionalities. We also see what you can collect from this wave as well. Really cool. We got the blue shell. We also got uh, one of the uh, the arena, Donkey Kong Arena playset. Really great scene as well. So everyone here is Bowser out of the packaging looking fantastic. I also put Kamek there because Kamek is like the second in command or one of the um, also a great ruler. and. Bowser's right hand man so anyways really cool so we got the playset really fantastic and I found this at my local GameStop you can see the little video as well that I was toy hunting for it really great playset and fun to find I only found one but yeah um, I got lucky yesterday I found it um, the resellers have been selling it for high prices like 100 to 90 to 100 bucks which is insane i mean you could just find it in the stores if you really put the effort i always go early in the mornings or when they stock up and i always ask if they have anything in the back and also the qr codes help a lot so for starters we got the king of the koopas jack black just uh the miniature bowser figure you may remember the one that we had in february or march Bowser can rotate his head here, 360 probably. And the small little painted teeth are okay. I mean, you can see the roof of them can rotate up like this. Pretty cool. The legs, I thought, rotated, articulated, but they don't. They're just pre-posed, and the tail as well. And the hands are pre-posed as well from the toy, but they're just... It's just a stock pose. Yeah, shell's painted nicely. I do like it. Mine's not painted on the eyebrows all the way, but you can see little eye texturing of Bowser's, which is really cool. You can see here this Bowser is much smaller and the orange on the minifigure is much more lighter than the promotional images but it still looks pretty good and they're pretty accurate to each other. The cool thing though about this one that always gets me that the other one can't do is that it always has a steam effect. That is just too cool man. Get it now while you still can, $30. Pick or you can either pick one or the other, they're both 30 bucks, or you could buy both like I did. <laughs> now, not to forget about this awesome playset, we have a lot of features and functionality. So basically what you're gonna do, um, you can lift this and before everything gets assembled, you're gonna have to assemble these pieces and some assembly is required. But um, right here, we got the little balls and chain, which is really cool. They just rotate and kind of turn a little bit. All of them do the same thing, same on the other side. Now we have this little, gimmick that can be um, pulled down this little door hatchet and you can put one of your favorite Goombas or Koopas down there like in the movie now, of course it's kind of hard to fit them in there if you could find some way to get them in there props to you but I mean I think he's stuck in there anyways Bowser can move his mouth open and close it um, I thought there was gonna be some LED feature with this figure I tried put little lights and flashlights in the back to make the eyes glow up but it's just a giant solid chunk of plastic in the back I mean if somebody managed to drill a hole in there that would be perfect but the promotional images make it look as if the eyes were glowing you could even see that there's glue here like they glued everything in place but yeah literally I thought there was gonna be a some cool feature where it could light up the eyes or that would have been cool if they had the steam effect from Bowser and the light up gimmick I would have paid another 20 bucks or even 10 bucks for that but anyways, uh, still cool. We do got more gimmicks, which I will zoom more in depth in. Does roll pretty good. Um, pretty cool gimmick. So for the little accessories here, you can basically pull this piece down and I believe you can put a character in there or something, but I don't really see what it does to be honest. I'm still working with it. Um, I don't know, every feature. Ah oh, darn, why doesn't this thing work? Oh, I know, let's press this button. Ah, there we go. Everything's more making sense now. And Bowser has more space for his layer. Once you're done with that, you can just easily spring load it back in. Flip the top. Close this little section. You got your cool little Bowser. I prefer it like this. But wait, there's more. 
you can take this up and you got the little cells or whatever you like to call them little um cages i should just say um you can't fit bowser in his own little um cages you can put the goomba in there i have no idea why goombas were in there once again um, but you can put them in there and then you could store them in um, I know you know what let's do mates. I wish we had a little miniature Luma Lee or penguin figure that would have been really cool let's try putting Luigi in here since Luigi was one of the captives if you haven't seen the movies are but I mean I think most Mario fans would have seen it I mean unless you have no way to watch it I'm really sorry um, but you wouldn't be watching this but uh, anyways um Pretty cool, it spins around, really fun place at Gimmicky, I like that lava effect, and it can glow, I wish it lit up, I just feel like there was something they were planning, there was something cool they were planning, but they gave up on it. I would have spent like another um, 20 bucks on this or something, but I mean, I don't know if they're going to plan on releasing a bigger set or something like that, I mean, it's a pretty cool place that I'm not going to lie, um, you can see nice face sculpt right there, head sculpt. Um, back the sides basically the same kind of and then you could just store but anyways guys what a great place that you can also um just store them in like that and voila they'll be in there um, there is one great feature I'd like to last but not least mention you can also one of the biggest gimmicks that they hyped about this set it's a slide so you can slide all your favorite Mario characters whatever ones you have down there as well so yeah pretty cool the bigger figures such as Donkey Kong and Bowser I don't think would do that well but yeah they're pretty cool I mean they're all great figures like wow like great job I can't wait to review Donkey Kong I was most hyped about the Bowser playset but yeah that's coming up soon too here's a quick little comparison of Bowser's castle next to Peach's castle you can see scalings is pretty good I'm just kidding the scaling is actually like this so everyone, that does it for my review on the Mario Jax mini scaled mini world playset of the Bowser's Island Castle, whatever you call it. Bowser's Island Castle, yeah. Very cool set and really great collectible. Just don't buy it from scalplers. Try to be patient like I did. Um, I mean, I wanted this thing like a month ago, but yeah. Um, Pre-orders are available on GameStop from what I seen yesterday. I don't know if they would go out of stock that fast, maybe, but, um, yeah, I would try to check GameStop. They might have it. Um, try to use a barcode if you can. And, um, as well, try to check Targets. I think they might be getting them soon as well. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. This is Jonathan.OYT, tuning out.